మోడర్న్ సిటీ ఇన్స్ హౌ డెవలప్ ప్రభావంతి బట్ వాట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ప్రభావంతి దట్ ఈస్ నెక్స్ట్ వర్క్ జగత హితాయ టు డెస్ట్రాయ్ దిస్ వర్క్ సో దే ఆర్ ప్రభావంతి ఇన్ ది ఆపోజిట్ డిరెక్షన్ బట్ ఇస్ నాట్ ప్రభావంతి యాక్చువల్లీ ప్రభావంతి ఇన్ ది మెటీరియల్ సెన్స్ బట్ వాట్ ఈస్ పర్పస్ ఫర్ ది ఎండ్ జగత హితాయ There are two kinds of problems. To hell, to heaven. Fifty years ago they were thinking it was progress to build big skyscrapers. Now it's so hellish in the cities everybody's moving out. Yes. yes. Actually, when there are so many skyscrapers building, it is hell. natural air is obstructed. No sunlight. In Bombay, you see, if you are on the top floor, you have got little facility. In the lower floor, you will help. If there are several skyscraper buildings, in the first, first floor, second floor, it will simply help. No air. Simply you have to run on this electric fan. we cannot see the sky therefore it is meant sky scraper or the scraper what is the meaning this space the touches huh touching the so you have touched the sky in such a way i cannot see this is it you you demon you have captured the sky so i have no opportunity to see all is electric light Now we see the sky, the sun, how nice it is. This is light, green, down and up, clear sky, sun, this is light. We get rejuvenation in this atmosphere. What is this nonsense? All the sky is covered with really. light, no air, no light. Jagata Hikaya. the mind becomes crippled the health becomes deteriorated children cannot see even the sky everything is spoiled every day in the city they make a report pollution report and they say you should go outside or not go outside some days you are not it is not good for your health to leave your home They are also selling fresh air from... Fresh air? They are selling fresh air. <laughs> fresh water also. Yeah. Hmm. In Tokyo they have special machines you can get air, fresh clean water. By cleaning the urine? <laughs> <laughs> Now they are doing that. Mm-hmm. Fresh water by cleaning urine. Oh. That derived from stool. Yes, German people did it. fat extracted from stool scientifically <laughs> you can use it with butter very nice and uh, bread mm-hmm. some of the materialists may not may, may argue that these activities are not all that unbeneficial are not all that unbeneficial for example they they've made a tractor And in America they can produce so many grains, so much so that practically they could feed the world. Why do they not? Because their mentality, so many, is huh? their mentality is very abominable. Their mentality is very abominable. Do that. There are so many overpopulation. And you can do it in America. So much land, land vacant here. better to put the people in the factories in the fields. But if they're going to work, let them work growing the grain and milking the cow. Yes. <coughs> Then they will live very happily. That will not be. Jagatva Hitaya. Read it. Shayaya Jagat Hitaya. Shayaya. Shayaya means for ruination. Bringing ruin. 
to be in action. To save them from ruin action. Actually, I've seen in New York some quarters so nasty. In London also, so nasty. Disaster. So many stores found lying back and found. I was, when I had no business, I was writing to see the city. Hellish country. They said it is risky, it was risky. But I did not know that it was risky. One uh, electrician, he was my friend. So, of course, I will be in those quarters. It is not what you don't. I do not care. <laughs> but I have got them take from me. <laughs> so I was loitering in New York City. So many nasty quarters. London also. So many houses, vacant. <coughs> there is more chance of being killed in New York City than in the jungle. Yes, they want me not to go to the central park in the evening. Mm. They say at night nobody goes there. Except the thieves. Huh? Except the thieves and killers. Yes, <laughs> such an important city and such important park. Hmm. Is there any stage at which these atheistic people have done anything good by accident? Hmm? Is there any step? Therefore they support this accident here. Oh. Now it is there. They have got the accident. Because ordinarily there is no good. There is no possibility. But by accident if some good comes, <laughs> that's all. Otherwise Jagata Ahitaya. It is only far. Bad. But accidentally when good comes. Accidentally, this consciousness movement came. And then it was going on. Nobody called this consciousness, the scientists, the philosophers, the politicians. But accidentally came. That's the name of God desire. We cannot explain God, therefore we take it as accident. It's very interesting. Hmm. Very. In a Vedic community, everything is very ordered and goodness prevails. Therefore, God consciousness seems very natural. No. Following such conclusions, the demoniac were lost to themselves and have no intelligence engage in unbeneficial, horrible works meant to destroy the world. The demoniac are engaged in activities that will lead the world to destruction. The Lord states here that they are less intelligent. The materialists who have no concept of God think that they are advancing. But according to Bhagavad Gita, they are unintelligent and devoid of all sense. They try to enjoy this material world to the utmost limit and therefore always engage in inventing something for sense gratification. Such materialistic inventions are considered to be the advancement of human civilization. But the result is that people grow more and more violent and more and more cruel, cruel to animals and cruel to other human beings. They have no idea how to behave toward one another. Animal killing is very prominent amongst demoniac people. Such people are considered the enemies of the world because ultimately they will invent or create something which will bring destruction to all. Indirectly, this verse anticipates the invention of nuclear weapons of which the whole world is today very proud. At any moment, war may take place and these atomic weapons may create havoc. Such things are created solely for the destruction of the world and this is indicated here. Due to godlessness, such weapons are invented in human society. They are not meant for the peace and prosperity of the world. <laughs> 